Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a new episode of Trident Talks. Today I'm delighted to be joined uh, by JJ Davey. How you doing JJ? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. How about yourself? Yeah, really good, thanks. Really good. Glad to, uh, glad to have you on board. It's been a long time coming. Um, <laughs> so uh, look, most people that see this are going to know you, but for the few that hopefully we reach that don't know you, um, please give us a yeah, brief intro. Okay. Uh, so all in all, I've been in security for about three years, but been in technology for about nine, 10 years now. Started off my career in technology in the armed forces, communication systems operator, uh, dealing with radio communication, satellite communications. Uh, then uh, left the forces due to an injury, uh, moved into um, technical help desk, Lockheed Martin. Um, absolutely hated it, but it gave me some valuable experience with customer soft skills, which is paramount for cybersecurity. Uh, I then moved into a SOC role uh, with a local MSSP. Uh, fortunately, that was with no certifications, so um, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. I then moved into a Tier 2 kind of SOC role at Carnival UK, um, in which COVID-19 declined my future there uh, and made me leave because of uh, redundancy. I then moved into a local fintech firm um, as a cybersecurity engineer, um, dealing with everything from... Um, pen testing to implementing security solutions. I then moved back to my grassroots as a SOC analyst at CyberClan, uh, which I think for the time being, I'm going to be there for the foreseeable future. Yeah, nice. Um, obviously, I know you've not long started there, so congratulations on the uh, on the new role. We'll just just touch on CyberClan because a lot of people won't know them, being a, a, an overseas organisation that are sort of building yeah. in the UK. But give us a little bit of information about who they are and what they do. So... We really have like an emphasis on, uh, so we do like the full scale of security. So we're a managed security service provider, but we do full scale. We do everything from instant response to uh, digital forensics to actually giving you a, a SOC function, uh, which is what I'm part of. I'm part of that SOC team. Uh, but it's, a bit, it's, it's kind of like a different kind of approach to it. Uh, we approach the SOC as more kind of threat hunting. We do a lot of the kind of analysis and threat hunting ourselves. We try to instead of giving you the all the whole forest, we give you the wood from the trees. We give you the information that you need. We don't give you the information you don't need. So we do all the analysis and we'll go, okay, we're seeing this. We recommend you do this. So we take a lot of that legwork away from you. Uh, so that's what we do. Uh, but we really have kind of an emphasis on this human kind of response. So we really like to give a more of a human touch to everything. So I think one of our like unique kind of selling points, which is really good because as the previous stock i've not really had this but we try to work on this kind of whole respond as quick as you can but there's a lot of information a lot of emphasis on the customer um which is really really good we have like quite a good response time whereas i've worked in socks before where it's just been overwhelming with alerts and responding to actual alerts or that actual incidents takes a lot of time yeah. so it's quite good uh but yeah really enjoy cyber clan and really glad to be on board good no i must i must say i've seen them all over social media and just heard really good things about them speaking to i speak to people all the time and i know a few other people that are, are due to join there and yeah heard nothing but good stuff so uh, yeah long may it continue the main thing that i wanted to speak to you about today which is something that you're building and you recently launched is your mentorship program um your cyber mentor dojo so tell us about that where it sort of stemmed from and i guess what the what the plan is what what's it for so we, I actually have a uh, podcast, uh, the Cyber Call Face, which yeah. I co-host with um, David Tyler. David messaged me uh, probably I think at the start of December when I'm working on something um, and then just sent me the details of it. And I thought, oh, you know, that sounds like a good idea. He then messaged me like a couple of weeks later and was like, can you have a look at the website and just see if there's anything wrong with it? And I was like, mate, this is amazing. This platform <laughs> is amazing. And I said, let's run with it. So... Uh, we wanted to get out the door as quick as possible just to start building that community because we have a real big emphasis on connecting uh, mentees to mentors, connecting junior entry-level people to mentors and more experienced people. That's our kind of goal. Uh, we, we're trying to aim this at that kind of gap where students are or people are like going, okay, I want to go into security, what next? Or if, yeah. you're, if you've just done your degree, you've just finished university and you don't know what to do next. We're trying to get to that gap. We're trying to go, okay, join the dojo, we're going to have that community that's going to support you and help guide you to where you want to go in security. So we have a lot of emphasis on understanding the mentee, understanding what makes them drive, what makes them tick, what's their passion in security, where would they like to go? 
And then we build upon that. We try and build upon their passion and then get them to the right area and get them connected with the right people. So what I would do is if somebody said to me, I want to be a soccer analyst, I'd say, oh, brilliant. Okay, this is what I do to learn how to be a soccer analyst. Just have a little look and see what works for you and move forward from there. Um, And then I'll get them connected with recruiters. I'll get them connected with different people, different um, CISOs, um, SOC managers, just so they start to get a bit of a feel for what's out there. It's just building that bridge, that kind of communication bridge and help them emphasize their network a bit more. Yeah, that's really good. And I think the way you're doing it in terms of connecting with people that are in the industry and doing the job at the moment um, and not just sort of, I think a lot of people think when it's mentorship, they think, right, someone at the top of the game, so a CISO, for instance, has to be the men- the mentor. But not necessarily in this case, that you're connecting with like-minded people that okay may have only been in the industry a few years, but they're going to yeah. be the people that can give you insight in how to how to get to where you want to go, which I think is key. So I really like that. How, how do you how do you run it? So I know that you are quite big on Discord. Uh, I see you posting about that all the time. Is that predominantly where people can can interact with people? So the majority of our community is on Discord, but there's two parts to the Discord channel. There's the free part where anyone can join. There's no money involved. There's nothing like that. But there's the there's the the full version, which is three pound a month. You pay that three pound a month, you get access to all these other channels. You get access to the classrooms. You get access to the full range of mentors and the mentors are growing day by day. I think when I started there, it was about five. Now there's probably around about 20, 30 mentors in there from different different backgrounds, different skill sets. Um, so it, it really, we're trying to aim it at Discord because we, we realise that the, the new generation that are up and coming are going to be used to Discord. They're going to be used to these kind of yeah. platforms because it's a gaming platform. That it's going to be, you know, it's going to be quite comfortable environments for them. Instead of sitting them in like, oh, you know, let's have a Zoom call yeah. every hour. Let's just sit in Discord. Let's just chat. Let's spin some stories um, and let's get to know each other. I guess the question I've got around the mentors themselves, how do you pick them? And do you encourage people to come on board? Or do you have a select people that you want to use and that is it? Or, or is it open for, for more people joining? So we've opened it from both ends. You can join as a mentor or a mentee. So you can go, okay, I've done five years in, as a SOC analyst. I'm now quite experienced. I will join as a mentor. Uh, so what you do is you go to the website, you build your profile, you list your skills, um, and then mentees can then build their profile and they can search for mentors based on the skills. So we kind of have this matching process. So if you want to say you want to go into instant response, you would look for instant response and then it will just list mentors that have those skill sets. And then you can just dig into their profile, read a little bit about them, and then just go onto Discord and just talk to them and just say, hey, look, you know, I've just seen your profile on the website. You know, can we have a bit of a chat? The main kind of goal is we're trying to build these avenues of communication and then we're trying to advance those avenues of communication to mentorship, to a friendship as well. So we're trying yeah. to build kind of like a friend group and get people in to say, hey, look, cybersecurity is a very inclusive, inclusive and very um, rewarding community to be yeah. in. Um, so what we're trying to do is just trying to bring people in and just trying to build them up. Yeah, and I'd agree with that. I think since recruiting in cyber over the last few years, um, it's very much give and take. If you're in it just to take, then you'll get found out very quickly. And I know that we've we've seen this with certain characters in uh, over LinkedIn in the past. And I know that you're very uh, vocal about it. And why not? I think you're you're very giving in that sense, and that's clear in uh, with something like the, the the mentor group that you're that you're offering. That's very clear. So my advice to people would be: look, if it's something that you genuinely want to get involved in, and you're going to take time and uh, and be serious about it, then reach out to. Um, reach out to JJ um, and go through the channels. Um, that goes for both sides of things like mentor and mentoree. Um, I think, especially if you're looking to become a mentor and you're genuinely serious about giving back, then uh, this is a, an amazing platform to, to be involved in. I'm sure you'd agree. Yeah. And that, this, this is the reason why, there's, there's kind of like a reason why we, we just make it three pound a month. So yeah. we call it a cup of, cup of coffee a month, just yeah. the price of a coffee a month. But we also want it to be a volunteer kind of thing. So all the costs go to building the website and building the features. Um, so the, the no money goes into pockets. It goes straight back into the website. It goes straight into building the features, giving people more. Uh, but we want it to be all about volunteering because that shows a lot about a character is if you want to volunteer your time to help someone, already we know what kind of character you are. And that's going to benefit people because birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with those kind of people, you're going to be like those kind of people. So that's what we kind of try and do is build like this positive environment for people to grow in because they, they're going to see the good side of things and it's going to make them feel positive. 
It's yeah. going to benefit their mental health. It's going to be that kind of environment that they want to be in. Yeah, you've just touched on something that I was about to about to say, and that's about mental health, because I know you're a massive advocate for that. Obviously, coming from a military background, it's probably something that's quite close to your heart as well. And I think having this sort of community can really help people. Um, so this isn't aimed at, aimed at any one sort of specific um, background either. You could be coming from the military. You could be coming out of university. You could be someone looking to switch industries. Um, what is, I think, quite clear in your post is that this is open to everyone. Um, and uh, as long as you're willing to yeah, offer, offer things both ways, then uh, you're more than welcome to become part of the community. Absolutely. We, we're so inclusive we don't see you know people for their skin color we don't see them for what they believe in all we care about is one you're human two you're a cybersecurity professional or you want to be a cybersecurity professional that is it uh, everyone's on the level playing ground no matter if you join them as a mentor as a CISO uh, and you're a mentee as just somebody that's at help desk then you're at the same level the same level kind of mutual respect there's no you know seniority in the platform and we try to keep everyone on the same level, just so it makes it more makes people more approachable. It makes it easier for people to connect with each other because um, we don't want that kind of like, oh, you know, this guy's the big bad boss. You know, we oh, want, yeah, of course. you know, we want people to connect with each other because I've been in that kind of situation where you really want to connect with this person, but they just don't come across the right way. They just come across quite abrasive, quite yeah. uh, too forward. And it's like, well, I don't feel comfortable talking to that person. Yeah, I, I have that myself coming from. Uh, from a recruitment perspective, like sometimes I'll reach out to people in the industry and genuinely will just want some advice uh, around maybe a particular skill set or, I don't know, a particular role that we've got. Sometimes I think people are very quick to brush people away that want genuine help. Um, if they Look, I understand people are busy and people have jobs and lives to lead, but I also think that giving back into the community, if you've got knowledge that can help people, then it's it's massive um and it's yeah. something that people should do more of yeah so, so i said to someone the other day i said the most powerful thing that you can do for your career uh, and this is absolutely free you don't have to join anything is just open up google and ask google questions mm-hmm. i know that sounds very stupid but honestly if you just type a question into google nine times out of ten you're going to be bombarded with with the right kind of answers because uh Google's now it's got smart in such a way that if you ask it a question, it tries to answer that question yeah. instead of just match keywords. It tries to answer the question. So even just typing in, going like, "What's cybersecurity?" Um, it's going to give you pages about cybersecurity, and then you can dig deeper, saying, "Well, what's a SOC analyst?" And then it's going to give you more information about SOC analyst. And you'd be like, "Oh, what's incident response?" Mm-hmm. And so on and so forth. You go down that rabbit hole, and all of a sudden, you've just career advised yourself. You know, you're not going to have to go through all these kind of these different routes. Uh, but if you don't want to do that and you want to talk to people, because I know a lot of people don't like to go into Google because it's just type into a computer. You want that yeah. human touch, you want that chat, you want that coffee, you know, you want that you know, a bit of chinwag, you want a bit of it's banter. It's a support network, isn't it? I think that's that's Absolutely. a massive support network. Absolutely. And it, it's, especially at the moment, like in the times we're in, um, I think... Uh, hopefully we're past the worst of it but you just don't know i mean this this last year the last 12 months has been crazy um yeah. i think people feel lonelier than ever um especially like people some people don't have family and loved ones some people live, like people live on their own so i think to have that um that support network about a subject that you love which is cyber security is 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 great and it's good for people to to use that to i mean some some people may use this mentorship program to genuinely just connect with the industry and i think that's what it's about it's not you've made it clear it's not specifically about going from a to b into a job it could be about learning about the industry how to get from uh one thing to another um and i think that's i think that's good yeah we're starting to um we're starting to build a ctf team because what we realize is that the capture the flag event is not just about flexing your skills it's about teamwork as well Mm -hmm. So even if you're not into a, not in a job in cybersecurity, you're getting that teamwork element. You're getting that you know, that soft skill of communicating your findings with people. Because when you're in a job in cybersecurity, you realize a lot of it is about communicating in the right way. A lot of it is about soft skills, uh, especially if you're a pen tester, which where quite a lot of the mentees are want to be pen testers. Your selling point is your technical report. If you can't build a technical report that somebody can pick up and read and action, then you're not really that employable. You know, yes, you can do the job you can't tell us how you did the job. And that's what yeah. makes you sound as a pen tester. So when we have these CTF events, this helps people explain to other people what they found. 
They could be like, oh, I found this vulnerability over there. Oh, what's the vulnerability? Oh, it's this. Yeah. And this is how you get into it. It's like, well, you, you know, you're improving your your ability to communicate your technical on-screen stuff to your technical off-screen notes. And it, yeah. that's that is what's powerful. And it's the team element as well. So when we have this CTF event, you know, the, the teams are just you know, they're chatting with each other. Um, they're having a bit of banter. They're joking around. And it, it's building that like, kind of camaraderie. You know, really starting to build a kind of a, a family kind of element. Uh, and I, I want people to have that because, as you say, we're alone more than ever. Yep. We can't go out to clubs. We can't go to pubs. We can't go out to the cinema. There's lots of stuff now that's just been taken away for us that we've taken for granted. And I think the biggest thing that we've taken for granted is human interaction. A lot of people have just locked themselves up, you know, and then COVID came along and then they've like they realised, oh, I took, you know, going out to the restaurant with my family for granted. But I now have this community where I can just jump on a call with someone and just chat with someone. No, you know, I feel I feel a little bit down. You know, I, do, I feel upset today. I'm just going to jump on there, chat with my mates, maybe do a bit of CTF, jump on Try Hack Me, learn some new things, and some of it just spirals off into a friendship, which is yeah. what you know really draws me into building this community. Because for me, it's absolutely everything. It's just seeing people not just prosper in their self in their career, but as mentally for their mental health. Yeah, I think I think you've hit the nail on the head there, and. Um... I think having people like yourself involved and at the forefront of it is key because I know that yeah a lot of what you just said is is from the heart and 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 and, and, that, that, and you mean it um, and like you say you're not doing this it's an it's non profit you're not making money out of it it's literally just to give back and I think that's good so what's the best way for people listening to this what's the best way for people to get involved if if people do want to join up have you got a dedicated LinkedIn page or is it all through you, all through you at the moment or um, what's the best what's the best route. The, the the kind of like the godfather of the idea is David Tyler, uh, but we have a website. We have the, the Cyber Mentor Dojo website. We have the we have a LinkedIn page at the moment. You know, I, I post a lot about the Cyber Mentor Dojo. Yeah. If you want to go to the Cyber Mentor Dojo without going on LinkedIn or anything like that, the website is the cybermentordojo.com. Uh, it's all one word. There's no hyphens in it. All one word. dot com. Um, and that will just take you to the front page landing page. You know, if you sign up as a free mentee, you're going to get a link that's going to send you to the Discord channel. The Discord channel is a highly regular, highly regulated environment. Um, it's very respectful. Um, we have a top, we have a zero tolerance on bullying. Um, so if, if there's any bullying, any way, shape, or form, any bullying in regards to protective characteristics, it's a it's instant removal from the platform, depending on the severity of the offence. So we're trying to we're trying to make it a very safe environment for people to be in. Um, because again, and a positive one. That's what it's all about, right? It's about positivity. It's not about if people want to go on there and uh, start using it for the wrong ideas, then you'll be removed. Um, oh so yeah, we, we have we have a zero tolerance on um, unethical hacking as well. So if there's anyone doing anything that's unethical, that's against, against the Computer Misuse Act, instant removal from the platform. Um, because that's not we're, what we're about. We're all about ethical and cybersecurity professionals. Uh, we, we just want the platform to like, kind of like if you go to InfoSec or something when it's actually on and there's no COVID around, you go to InfoSec, we want people to just to meet up with each other and have beers, you know, and have that coffee in real life and just chat with each other. And go, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so from the dojo. And it's just, that's the kind of feel that we want. Cool. All right, look, I've really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed catching up with you. And I urge anyone that's looking to get into some sort of mentorship program, if you've got a passion for cybersecurity or just want to be part of a community, then join, join the mentorship dojo. I'll put, um, put some links up underneath this video so people can uh, straight to the website. Um, have you got anything else you want to add? Uh, no, just keep giving it forward and keep helping each other.